Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Raw Vlogs and today with me I got the 2070 Mercedes Benz S500 and I am going to review it. So the design of this car, you got a big Mercedes Benz badge over here and you got the chrome strips across, really nice and elegant looking and you got the diamond grille over here, that's nice. And surrounding the grille is chrome which is luxurious and over here you got your Mercedes Benz badge. Moving to the bonnet, it's a very long bonnet and I'll tell you what's underneath this hood in a moment but it's very long and it's got a few creases on it. And it looks nice. To the lights, these are LED lights and they're high performance LED intelligent light system. So they can plunk out their beams and stuff and do not dazzle other drivers. And it's a very clever system. Lower bumper, you got fake ones, change that Mercedes. It looks rubbish, but then you got some more nice elements such as this chrome strip and nice bumper. And you also got a few ones. Now, let's go to the side of the S500. So, the side, let's start with the wheels. These are 20 inch Mercedes wheels. You got your Mercedes badge over here and AMG badge over here. And you got a small wide wheel arch. It's nothing too special, it's there. Moving on, you got a big crease that starts from the front and goes all the way to the back. And you got a door mirror, it's, it's body colored, looks nice. And you got your blinkers over here. You got chrome window surrounds, really nice. And you got windows over here. And those windows come down when you open the door. The door handle is also really special, it's in chrome, I, I like chrome. Moving down, you got this strip of chrome over here, very nice and detailed. And you got a side skirt over here, and that is in body coloured, looks nice and gives the car a sporty appearance. This car also has a sunroof by the way. Now, let's go to the back. In the back, you got a big chrome strip, really nice and elegant. And you got a Mercedes Benz badge over here, the S500 badge over here. The AMG badge over here. You got your tail lights over here. There's nothing too special, it's there. Moving down, you got your exhaust pipes over here. It's just, this is just a surround, inside there you got two axle pipes. Same on the other side. Then, you got some chrome bits over here, and everything's nice. I like it a lot. Nice looking car. So the boot of the S100. It opens up, it's really nice. And you got 450 litres of boot space in here. It's a pretty large boot and you can fold down the seat from inside. And you can also close it automatically. Really nice. Now let's check out the rear seats. So the back back seats are the S Y hundred. It's not as lovely as the S class because the sudden version because that's longer and wider. But it's still doable. You can do miles on this, very comfortable and you're nice. And you got a lot of wood surrounding you and you got more wood over here. But you can see scratches on this. You can open this that way and that way. There's some storage over here. That's nice. Then the seats, they're also very comfortable. Mm, nice to sit in. Then over here, you got a few air vents. They're nice. And down over there, you got some uh, foot vents. They give you air through the further foot. Then you got airplane style pockets over here, which I'm still going to open. And there we go. They're pretty big and you can also keep your magazines and stuff, which exclusive people who can buy these cars can will use. And then you got lights over here, this is a nice light. And in the middle of these, you got like ambient lighting, the blue lights over here. That's really nice, I like it a lot. Now, let's check out the front seats of the S500. So the door of the S500, it's long and it's really nice looking. You got this leather over here, leather, leather everywhere on the door card. It's really nice. Then you got this wood over here, that's also nice. Then you got your Burmester sound system over here. And you got like heated seats for all the areas. And three, three settings for the memory seats. And these are your seat controls, your door handle, your window controls, your mirror controls. And you got some s silver trim over here that just livens things up. 
And then you also got your boot opening switch over here. And last but not least, you got a pretty average size turbines. Then you got your Mercedes Benz kick plate over here. So over here, you got your AC vents, your light controls, your parking brake. And you also got your start stop switch over here. And above over here, you got your parking sensor off, your 360 display, and the heads up display button over here. Now, I'm going to make you listen to this lovely sound. <coughs> So, you got a steering wheel over here, there's a lot of wood on it, it's really nice, but you also got leather on it to hold and grip the steering wheel properly. There's a flat bottom steering wheel, you got a Mercedes Benz badge over here, you got silver trims around here and over here, and this side is for controlling the digital driver's display, and this side is for controlling this side of the screen. So, you got a digital driver's display, and it's Mercedes' old one, you can also see the different trip navigation media radio telephone assistance graphic let's check that out so you can like see the different things so there's as attention brake and stuff and the dials are very neat and laid up wonderfully i like it a lot and over here you can also see a heads up display that's also really cool and it's an s class so it looks good so this is mercedes's old old system of the infotainment system it's not too special or something it's just there let's check out the 360 cameras you can see the views and you can also see the 360 yeah it's not too high def or something it's just there it's fine you can use it then you also got other settings and other features and down over here you got your air vents they're really nice and ac controls over here and then you got this thing over here it's a mammoth thing so you got your cigarette area over here your tunnel water socket over here and it just slides back in wonderfully and then you got this area which you can open so you get a lot of space and you can close it so you have less space then you got like nfc technology and cd player and stuff over here so coming over here you got a shotgun button for your navigation radio hazards media telephone vehicle settings and you know, if you hit this, you can see your seat settings. And over here is you got your return button. You got a three mode, such as sport or economical. Then you got a suspension, so you got sport and comfortable. And you also got air suspension, which rises the car on its air suspension. And on this side, you got the button for turning off and on the screen. Your volume control, your auto start stop switch over here. And this is the main control for the infotainment screen. You can also place your hand over here to control it. So, you're going out for a drive, you open your door, you sit in your car, you start your engine, and you get the wonderful noise. Then you close, in comes your seatbelt butler to give you your seatbelt. And once you're done, he goes away. Nice. And it tightens yourself so you're safe. So, the engine in the S500 and it's a big engine, 5 litre V8 turbocharged and it produces 496 horsepower and 430 units of torque. It's a very big engine and it sounds absolutely wonderful. So guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and the S500 is an absolutely amazing, wonderful, luxurious Grand Terra sports car. So see you soon. Bye.